I just got back from visiting a local farmer and this makes me so happy because where I live, there are so many farms. So my goal is going to try every single one of them and see which one I like the best. Now this one that I visited, I got to look at their website. I love that they're pasture raised. So what I got from them today is I got some pasture raised eggs. I got some chicken wings. I'm so excited to try chicken wings from the farm that did not make it to the grocery store. Like, that is so awesome. Like, I am so excited. Literally, from farmer to customer. Yeah. And then my husband got a chicken thigh cutlets. I also got elderberry from them. Elderberry. And then I got some, I got some soap for now. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, the next time I go, I'll do like a little video and share my experience. So I am literally learning about the farmers in New Jersey and it seems like chicken is seasonal. So the person that I went to today, she actually just picked up chickens from the post office today. And I'm loving that I'm going to be able to like, you know, join the journey and watch these chickens grow and she's doing her thing. And then I'm going to be the customer and buy chicken from her when it's ready. If you like beef or you like pork, you could basically access that all year round. So the chicken is the only thing Thing that is seasonal and I believe I think she said the turkey but I'm not 100% sure I'm not a huge like turkey eater I'm not a huge beef eater just because my husband doesn't you know do beef or pork so it's not like a huge need for me to buy a ton but I definitely will buy like some you know burger patties when I want some burgers um, maybe some ground beef when I want to make like tacos for myself um, but I am I'm so excited I don't know if you guys can like tell but I am excited for this journey for this process that I know exactly where my food comes from. So my plan is I'm gonna buy a stand-up freezer and when the chicken is available I'm gonna buy as much as I can to you know have for a few months and I'll buy like a little bit of um, uh, beef patties and maybe some ground beef very small amount because again my family doesn't um, doesn't eat too much of beef or pork i do want to try the bacon though <laughs> like i really do want to try bacon i don't have bacon a ton like i very rarely have bacon but i definitely want to try bacon from a farmer what's also cool that's available at most of these farms are subscriptions so they have like meat subscriptions that can be delivered to your home they got produce subscriptions and all that good stuff uh, when the weather gets better that's when more of the farmers markets open around me and i'll be able to share with you a little bit more about you know buying produce and buying other things um, I also have an Amish market near me that I really need to take advantage I, I need to stop shopping at Whole Foods and Sprouts and I'm gonna dedicate in learning more about the farmers near me and just knowing exactly where my food comes from so join the journey I'm definitely gonna share it and I'm just really excited like I've always wanted to live this type of life like I obviously would you know love to have my own farm but to be able to live in this environment and have like farms all over like nine minutes away 13 minutes away like I have so many I'm just like so grateful.